Hey guys, it's Randy here at eTrailer.com. We're going to be taking a look at some landing gear from Strongberg Carlson. This is their high speed fifth wheel landing gear. It's available in two sizes. The LG3 is going to be 17 and a half inches outside to outside on your weld marks. The LG4 is going to be 21 and a half. That's your best guide in determining which of those two that you're going to need for your application. Now this is going to be a great solution whether you're looking to upgrade your manual crank style. We all know that can be pretty tiresome getting out there and trying to crank the front of a fifth wheel up. Or your standard speed electric style. The thing I like about this, it takes some of the time out of it. We can run it down a little bit quicker, pull it up a little bit quicker, and all in all saves us just a little bit of time. The biggest difference is going to be in the motor itself basically between the standard kit and the high speed kit. Standard kit's going to run about 5,500 RPM on 12 volts, where the higher speed kit, it runs at about 5,600. Now, while speed is really the biggest thing and why people tend to pick this up, that higher capacity or heavier duty motor that we have on this kit also increases our weight capacity. So now we're up to 6,500 pounds, so 30, what is it, 3,250 pounds per leg that comes down. So with a higher capacity, and the motor that's a little bit stronger, basically it doesn't have to work as hard. It can really help to extend the life. Also, the sturdy steel construction is really nice. Most of the time, this area, you know, down to about here, somewhere in there, it's going to be up inside the RV, so it doesn't get exposed to the elements too much, but I do like the way they've coated it. It seems to be really nice and sturdy. The part that will be exposed more will be our inner tube on our leg, the outer tube on our leg, and our foot plate. And you can see that's got the clear zinc finish on it. Again, just to promote some corrosion resistance. Now, of course, with your landing gear, we're not always going to be on level ground. The option that this one has, and I really like it, the legs can drop down independently. Right now, we've got them extended about five inches, but we can extend those as much as 15 inches. So if we're on a little bit of an uneven surface, We'll bring this one down till it stops, put our pin in, bring that one down till it stops, put our pin in there. And then as our gear runs through its travel, it's gonna push down evenly. So it keeps everything nice and level. I really like that. I think it's gonna save you a lot of time with the blocks going side to side. Now the actual extension on the landing gear itself is 19 and 7 eighths. So we're getting 34 and 7 eighths of an inch of total travel. And again, these holes are adjustable on one inch increments. Now you can see this does use a manual pin and clip. So we pull that out. We get our leg adjusted where we want it, and then we'll just slide our pin back in. Now there is a small upgrade for this, and I really like it. It's a spring pin. So basically when we get there, we pull the pin, the leg goes down to the ground. As we operate it, that spring pin's gonna clip into the next available hole. So that's something to consider if uh, if you don't want to spend the time bent over kind of adjusting that. And you also see the large foot plate here. From front to back, that's going to be eight inches, five to five, side to side. It's pretty common when it comes to these sizes. One thing you can consider here, especially if you camp in softer ground areas, would be upgrading this to the nine inch round foot plate. That's available on our website. And it's just a simple pulling this pin, putting the new one in, putting the pin back in. So it can be a quick and easy way, especially in those softer situations, to save you some of that sinking that we get. Now for most of you guys out there, this is going to be a replacement. Either yours has broken, it doesn't work properly, or you've damaged it somehow. If that's the case, you probably are already going to have your switch set up. If it is stored in a propane tank type of area, in one of those compartments, the switch that's going to come with this one is going to be uh, non-sparking type of switch, so it's approved to be located in that tank area. If yours isn't, you've got a full wiring harness here. Of course, we're just making two connections here on the motor and then one to our battery that is fuse protected. So if you need it, the switch is here. If you've already got one installed, this will wire directly up to it, so it's gonna save you a little bit of that install time on that side. Now, another thing I like about this kit is that it's gonna come with your override handle. So if for some reason the batteries go dead, they're not gonna be stuck there. Basically, we've got the shaft that's gonna come right out from our motor. This will slide on and engage. And at that point, we can raise and lower as we need to to get on the road again. 
So all in all, it's a really nice, easy to install type setup. Um, I think you'll benefit from that little bit quicker speed. It's gonna save you some time in setup and then when taking down the campsite. But I also like the fact that it's not gonna work as hard and that motor's gonna last a little bit longer for us. So if I had to pick between just the standard speed and going with the higher speed with a little bit stronger motor, I'd probably go with this one.